In this video, I wanted to just provide a little bit of mathematical uh, intuition for what I just stated very quickly at the end of the last video. So remember before that we actually sort of, I actually just stated that the bias of our instrumental variables estimator follows this sort of relationship. And I'm not actually going to prove this in this video, it's a more advanced topic, but we're going to assume that this is true. And then if our sort of first stage regression, which has this delta in it, if delta equals zero, then our first stage regression essentially has an F statistic which is equal to zero. So our bias of our IV estimator is approximately equal to the covariance of epsilon with u divided by the variance of u. And I stated very quickly at the end of the last video that this actually happens to be the bias of a least squares estimator in the event that delta is equal to zero. And it's this that I actually wanted to just prove in this video. And it's easy to show, and I've shown it in previous videos, that beta hat least squares minus beta is actually equal to the sample covariance of x with the error epsilon. So it's the sum from i equals 1 to n of this sort of term here, all divided through by a sort of term which looks a little bit like the sample variance of x, which I'm going to write SSX all squared. Then when we come to take the expectation of both sides, we can essentially replace the stuff on the right hand side by the population quantities. If we assume that these sample quantities are estimators or are unbiased estimators of the population quantities. And before I do that, I'm actually going to write a 1 over n of on both the top and the bottom, and um, because essentially they cancel one another out. And now on the bottom, I exactly have the sample variance of x. And then all I need to do is just put a sort of big expectation around the whole thing. And although this isn't exactly correct, it sort of provides intuition, you can sort of think about now replacing the numerator by the population quantity, sigma x epsilon, and the denominator uh, as being sigma squared x. So that's the bias of our least squares estimator. In the event that delta is equal to zero, the, all the variance in x is coming through this u term here because we can sort of forget about this delta z term here. So our denominator really is just sigma squared u. And in the circumstance where delta is equal to zero, all the covariance between x and epsilon is coming between, because of the covariance of u with epsilon. So I can actually replace the numerator by sigma u epsilon, which is exactly the same as we found here. So we've actually proved the thing which I stated at the very end of the last video. In the next video, I'm going to provide just a little bit of intuition as to why there is this finite sample bias in instrumental variables estimators. I'll see you then.